today's reading is Devil, an entry from the Monster Encyclopedia book series. Mid-ranked demons that give off a wicked aura. They have a childish appearance with blue skin and eyes with parts dyed black that were originally white. They are a race that was born bearing clear malice towards humans during the age of the former demon lords. When, there, when most monsters were born to kill humans because of instinct or hunger, they once fed on human fears, screams, and expressions twisted in agony. But now that they have become a succubi of sorts, in the present, they have come to prefer human expressions slicked in pleasure and ecstasy and cries of delight and pleasure. They love depravity and chaos and detest purity and order. They're the vanguard of the radical faction that is plotting to convert all women into monsters and shroud the entire world in a demon realm filled with pleasure. According to their radical ideology, they enjoy having sex with humans and corrupting them into lewd monsters. When they spot a human that strikes their fancy, they'll attack regardless of whether it's a man or a woman. If they assault a chaff, a chaste, and noble man, they'll make him drown in devilish pleasure using their own body and transform him into an incubus, and like an animal in heart overflowing with lust, who appropriately for a devil's partner will desire to have sex with them more than anything else, other than basic biological functions. If they assault a pure woman who has never known a man, they'll engrave pleasure and desire into her body and soul, changing her into a lustful succubus that loves impassioned days with her husband and enjoys the sex the same as themselves. They love seeing the guy they like drown in lust more than anything, and for that sake, they'll use every part of their tiny body to try and satisfy a man with thorough pleasure. Even though they have a sadistic aura, during sex they give off the highest they give highest priority to the man they're pleasuring. Sometimes they don't just rape men, conversely, they fan the flames of a man's desire and let him rape them like a beast. A tactic once commonly used by devils was to destroy people by giving them more power and wealth beyond what they could possibly handle, but many still use that same kind of method even now. They don't just have sex with men, they make men desire swell beyond what they could possibly handle, and then drown them in it with excessive love and pleasure by making them home-cooked meals every day, waiting on them hand and foot, bristly taking care of anything they could possibly need. What they love more than anything else is the expression of their husband after being drowned in love and happiness in this manner which, from an objective point of view, does indeed appear slackened and solvently. Conversely, they don't like it if their husband makes a difficult or sad expression. So if he makes such a face, they'll extend a hand or tongue to his penis right away, and it will be overridden with an expression that they do in fact love. 